Here in front of me, we have a tent that is from Decathlon. It is a ultra lightweight one person, three season tent. We've owned this tent now for about two to three weeks and we've used it for a few nights of overnight camping and wild camping. And I wanted to give you my overall thoughts so far of using this tent. I do want to give it a more in-depth review later on after a few months of ownership, but so far we've only used it for a few nights of camping, so just keep that in mind. But I will be comparing it to an older tent that I have for a bit of a comparison, because I've had my other tent, which is also a one-man tent, for four to five years, going to be comparing it to this brand new fancy one that's just been released from Decathlon, I think about six or eight months ago. So. Let's jump into the specification first, and then I'll run through all of the opinions and things to note and things to look out for in comparing it between the other, other tent and details into the tent. Specification wise, it's 1.3 kilos in weight, and when you pack it down, its volume is 4.2 liters in volume. So it's very small and very compact, which is really cool. When it comes to pitching up the tent, it's pretty quick. It only takes about like five minutes or so. It's pretty easy to set up. When the whole tent is pitched up, it, it's two meters by 60 centimeters. So it's, and it's one meter tall on the highest point, just under one meter. So when I lay in the tent, I'm 173 centimeters. And my friend is also the, the exact same height. When I lay in the tent, I've, I've got just about maybe 10 centimeters from on my above my head of space and then on my at my feet I've got about 10 centimeters again. So for me, I just fit in, but if you're six foot, this tent really wouldn't be for the tall person. On for the average size and smaller, it's okay, but the room inside the tent is is very small, which is what I've noticed so far. But there is a vestibule which you can put your bag, which I'll explain in more depth in a minute. When it comes to the rain fly, that can take, it says on the website, 2000 millimeters of rain. And on the bathtub, it says 3000 millimeters. So what we tried was that we had one night where it rained very lightly for about four hours or so. And it did a pretty decent job of repelling the water. I'm pretty sure that's due to the, the coating that they've used. So they've used a, some sort of water resistant sealant on the outside. But when we checked the rain fly in the morning, it, it did a really good job of repelling the water when I compared it to my older tent and also this Amazon tent that we have, which is like the worst one we've got. And my other friend was using that one and it was soaking wet. And the material that is used or either the coating on it is very good right now at repelling the water. That's probably because it's such a new tent though. That's probably why. And I haven't put any new spray, uh, water re resistant spray coating on my tent in a while. So that's probably why. So now let's jump into the opinions about this and my overall thoughts on this. There's many different things to go into with this tent. Let's jump into its ultra lightweight. So if you're wanting to get into ultra lightweight backpacking on a budget, this is incredible. For like a hundred pounds or 130 euros, you can buy this tent and it's 1.3 kilos. So it's pretty damn light considering that it's kind of a freestanding tent. They list it on their website that it's a semi freestanding tent. And that's definitely true. If you pitch up the, the whole tent on its own with the rain fly, it, it doesn't actually work. You need to use the stakes with the rain fly. If you remove the rain fly, then the whole tent stays on its own. When it comes to the material that they've used, I'm questioning its durability. That's probably one of the compromises of an ultra lightweight tent is that the materials are extremely thin. So I'm not sure on its durability. The bathtub floor is very thin. You can literally see my fingers through the material, which I would say that's concerning. Um, I would definitely buy a ground sheet in the future. Uh, for future use if, if you can afford it. It's 20 euros on the Decathlon website. So that is a, is, is a downside of this tent. I would recommend probably just buying a cheap, but a much more thicker ground sheet on Amazon or something. And that will improve the durability of the tent. But just keep it in mind that the fabrics that they're using to get down to that weight is incredibly thin. So that to me is a negative because when I compare it to my 
my older tent, which is four or five years old, the only time I've had to repair it was when an animal tried to claw its way into the tent. And so far, that's it. it it's, a, it's slightly heavier, like 200 grams heavier, but the fabric that they're using is a lot more thicker. So I, I would definitely keep that in mind that if you're going to use this for multiple months on end, staying in it overnight, I'm not sure how long it will last for. Um, if you're using it just for a few nights or a week of backpacking, then I think it's fine. And for its weight point, it's great. For months on end, I'm not really sure I would go with something that's more durable and slightly heavier. That's my opinion. Now, when it comes to the zippers, while we're on the materials, the, the zippers are very smooth. I'm not worried about their, their overall durability. They are very small, so maybe if it gets snagged or anything like that while, it, while you're unzipping it quite quickly, it, it's something to just keep in mind that you don't want to tug on it too fast or anything like that. It's very thin and small. The plus side is that the whole room of the tent, you can actually buy the whole thing again like separately. They sell it separately on Decathlon's website. So if anything goes wrong with it, a lot of the stuff that you have can be replaced from Decathlon. That's one of the biggest plus sides of Decathlon is that they're worldwide almost and you can buy all of their parts again straight from them. They've got pretty decent support and services and it comes with a five-year warranty, this tent. And it's also got the return policy. So you can uh, I think it's something like 14 days or 13 day rep return policy. So I would say that is that is a big plus side of buying stuff from Decathlon is you get that kind of reassurance that you do not get with Amazon or anything from China for that matter. Now when it comes to the, the tent pegs and the stakes, I would say that it's a plus side that they're really lightweight, so that's good. But the downside is that they've literally cut a corner around the hook of the tent. So when you stake it down and you get a lot of wind during the night, um, what ha happened a lot during the night is that the the actual hook wouldn't is is too short. So the little loop that goes over it, when the tent flaps around, it hops off the loop, and then it's not it's not even around the hook of the of the stake. So. There is a tiny hole I noticed that's drilled through it, so they probably want you to like put the loop through that hole, then tie your knot, and then it will stay much more securely during the night. I didn't I didn't try that out yet, but that's probably something that you want to keep in mind during a windy night. It's not very good in windy conditions, in my opinion. It's it's pretty average. It's not the best. Definitely try and keep it like undercover around in a forested area, then it'll help keep it more wind resistant. That's just something I noticed that the hooks could be improved, but you can always buy new hooks. So that's, but, and they are very lightweight. So we've talked about the material. We have talked about the zippers. We talked about its rain capabilities. We have talked about its wind resistance and its weight and Maybe it's coming down to just overall conclusion. So I'm basically comparing this tent to my old tent, which is my trusty four to five year old tent that I used on many different backpacking trips, bike packing trips around across America and Australia and all that. And it's an amazing tent for the money. I bought it for like a hundred dollars and it's been fantastic. I love the size for a one person. It fits a six foot person. Anyway, this is not a review about that tent, but I'm just saying it is amazing. If you want me to do a review on that, I don't mind. And they've actually revamped that whole passenger one from REI, which is an American brand. Sadly, they don't sell it in Europe. And Decathlon, I think they're trying a bit too hard to reinvent the wheel. I feel that when you've got something that's already simple enough, you don't need to compromise on it. Rather, it's better to keep it simple and improve what already works. I feel like they're making a bit too many compromises on this tent. That's my, my opinion so far. They're trying to make it a freestanding tent, but it's kind of not. So, you know, are you going to be a bivy tent or are you going to be a freestanding tent? You've got to pick one or the other, in my opinion. But... If you're trying to find that sweet spot between ultra lightweight but semi freestanding, then 
this is the tent for you. And if you're only going to use it for a week of backpacking or so, and you are very attentive with your equipment, and you take good care of it, then this is the tent for you. If you want something that's more durable that you can, you know, just throw up anywhere and kind of chuck it around a bit more, and you don't have to worry about folding it in a certain way, then I would probably go with a more durable tent and maybe even the two-person tent because I think the one man is, it's incredibly small. You've got that space to put your backpack outside, which is a plus side, but I'm not sure about the size. I think it's a bit too small for me. And I'm really curious over the next two to three months how that tent will perform. Uh, and we're gonna still be comparing it to my older tent. And hopefully in the future, we'll have more opportunities to go out backpacking and try it out. We've got the Pyrenees right here and we've got some my trips in the works that we're waiting for the right opportunities to go out and go and have fun and use these tents outdoors really. But we're gonna be waiting for that. And for now, this is what my overall conclusion is so far. If you have any other questions about it, you can leave them down in the comments below. I'll try and help out. Please subscribe, I, I would appreciate that. We're almost, we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I do a lot of different gear reviews, try, trying out a lot of different decathlon and Amazon budget-friendly options, because I, I love budget-orientated stuff. I, I think it's amazing what decathlon offer. I still think it's a very good value tent, but I would probably wait for another two generations after this tent to see where the, the brand actually goes. I think that they can make some improvements on this design, literally from what I've commented on today. And anyway, that's just my overall opinion. So thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.